Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here. Today we've got an unboxing of the Mac Mini Server 2011 Quad Core i7. So, um, let's just go ahead and cut into this because I'm excited to open it and, uh, yeah. So here we have it right here, to throw the rest of the box off to the side, and it is the server line, so this is the quad core, I'm going to go over the specs again, quad core i7, it has dual 500 gig hard drives, and um, the processor also has hyper threading, and um, goes up to, it has four cores um, physically, and it can virtually go up to eight cores. So look around the back, picture of it side Apple logo all this information Thunderbolt um, Core i7 and OSX, OSX Lion server so I'm probably going to be putting a solid state drive in this as well as my 8 gigabyte of um, RAM right here so let's go ahead and pop the uh, plastic right here and we'll unwrap it Let's just go ahead and open it. Um, I think it slides, yep. So here it is, the uh, computer itself. Um, it's known for it's uh, kind of like small for a beefy computer like this. Um, this actually does not have a super drive um, just because it's a server line of a uh, computer. But I really don't need one. I actually have a USB one. Um, I've been doing without a super drive in my MacBook Pro and it's been fine. So we're going to go ahead and put this off to the side, see what else comes with it down here. So here we have the power cable and it's a standard power cable. You see it in a lot of stuff. Um, not the uh, big power cable that you see in like um, big PCs, but it is a uh, pow standard power cable. Then over here we have the HDMI to DVI d adapter, um, pretty cool. And under there we just got some Hello Documents, and uh, that's all some boring crap. And we don't get a USB line uh, boot up disk. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and s install the RAM. So the Mac Mini has the uh, quick access panel where you just have to slide it over and uh, basically pull up, so no screws to. Uh, switch out some RAM so we're just going to try to uh, get this off alright and we got it flipped up it wasn't that hard I just took the uh, knife to the side and it actually went back down and we got the quick access panel off so uh, we have my Corsair 8 gigabytes of RAM and this actually had 4 gigabytes I paid $50 for this versus $200 from Apple. Um, we'll see how good this RAM actually is in um, test, of course, in the future. But let's just go ahead and pull out the Apple RAM. A few clips right here and right up. Let's pull it out. Throw that RAM off the side and take this out. All right, and we got our RAM out, so um, putting it back in is pretty easy. You just have to remember that this goes that way, and you can see by the indentation, it allows you to put it the right way. So again, these are four gigabyte sticks, two four gigabyte sticks to add up to an eight gigabyte um, RAM total. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. And it did originally come with, um, let's see, four gigabytes in total, two two gigabyte sticks. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Put the pins in first in the uh, right there, and then you just have to push it down, and you should hear a click. And then again on the top, and let's actually just make sure that's fully in there, and all the way down. Then we take the second stick, put it in here, make sure it's all the way in, and push it down. So uh, we're pretty much done with the RAM installation. It makes it that simple. 
Now we just put on the back, hook up the computer, and make sure we did everything correctly. Although there's not too much to screw up when you're putting RAM in. So we're just going to slide this on. And then I will be uh, installing my hard drive later in this. Um, it has dual 500 gig hard drives at 7200 RPMs. So uh, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.